Most bigger ski mountains will have like one place or area that's got some of the more difficult skiing kind of grouped together. In this case, on Aspen Highlands, it's called the Highland Bowl. It's honestly one of the most beautiful places in my opinion. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to document myself going down, uh, nothing crazy, but as you can see here, uh, coming out of, out of the shadows is this just absolutely unbelievable just look at the treads on this on this beast, on this snow cat. So yeah, we kind of cheated at the beginning. Uh, the snow cat runs sometimes, it takes you up part way, uh, so you don't have to hike the entire thing. There's no like chairlift or anything you have to hike. So we got onto it, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of footage of us just going up, and uh, it was actually really funny. One of the ski patrol guys was literally just skiing behind us. I think you can see it kind of. So yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, and then we finally made it to the top. It's like a five minute ride, uh, but it doesn't take you all the way there. It just takes you to kind of like the, the entrance to the actual skiing. And uh, as you can see, it's just, oh, it's just so beautiful, dude. So it took us a few minutes to get our stuff on our back and I actually got a bloody nose, which is kind of the worst thing you could ever possibly get in that position. So that was, that was fun. That's a good one. I always love when that happens. I have just a really big, I always get bloody noses when I'm skiing, dude. It's literally the most annoying thing ever. But it's whatever, it is what it is. Uh, so we, we started hiking. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, 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 it's not that, it's not that bad of a hike, honestly. It takes about an hour-ish. Uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot of steps. All right, as you can see, look at how many steps were taken in just this small time lapse. There's a lot of steps. It's a very narrow path that you have to climb up. It, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, takes a lot of walking in snow boots. Uh, it's, it's ski boots. It's, I don't know, it's not that bad of a hike. Uh, but the altitude and everything, it's its a decent hike. It's its probably up there with one of the bigger hikes um, on a ski mountain, to be honest with you. So yeah, this is just a bunch of me walking. Uh, I don't know, I just want you guys to feel my pain so you understand, so you're impressed uh, by what I've accomplished. Okay, leave a like on this video, thank you. So there's kind of like a first initial slope that leads up to right here, and then as you can see, the top, it's like two more little peaks that you have to climb up to, but you can see it there. And then, drum roll please. And we made it to the top. Finally, after, I don't know, it took us like, I wasn't really timing it, probably like an hour or something. My brother is kind of slow. <clears throat> what? Um, but yeah, we made it to the top, uh, as you can see. I mean, it, it's just, it is beautiful up there. It's kind of a really cool experience. Cause like I said, you can't get there from a chairlift. So everybody that got up there had to hike. That's uh, kind of cool. Also, wait, wait, check this out. Look what I'm wearing. Look, it says Aspen. I got this little, I got, I never buy, I don't buy stuff when I go on vacation, but I saw this, I thought it was cool, so I bought it, so I, you know. We out here. And now it's time for a little, just short commercial break by uh, our sponsor for today's video, uh, Epic Games. <laughs> brother also brought his GoPro up and we were trying to get it to work but it just it wasn't working I don't know it's like the first one I don't know why it doesn't work it should still work I don't know why but it was just I, I, don't, I think he forgot to charge it I think he just told me that he charged it and he just definitely didn't so unfortunately there's only one angle and it's of me skiing down so I'm, I'm gonna put in a little bit of this footage just so you guys can kind of watch it it's just the problem with GoPros is they're so wide angle that it makes it look like you're skiing on like flat ground which is just not it just does not do justice. I'm not saying that it's like super steep. Like honestly at this point, it's, it's really not even that steep. I don't know, it's like 40 some degrees, which is like, but the conditions are really good. It was a really fun run. And uh, I think at some point you can kind of see like all of the snow kind of go flying past me. So maybe you kind of get an idea for, for how steep it is. But that's always been my problem with GoPros is like, unless you put it like sideways to the mountain, you can just never really see how, how steep it is. It just makes you look so wimpy, dude. I'm so annoyed. It just makes it look like you're just, uh, it just does not look, it just doesn't make you look good. You know what I mean? So yeah, and then here's my brother shredding it up at the bottom, absolutely destroying it. You know what I mean? Just, just shredding the gnar. Absolutely shredding the gnar, dude. 
<laughs> and then we get to kind of like the bottom of the main bowl and uh, dude, it's just, it's kind of cool, right? Is it, is it cool? I think it's kind of cool. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Leave a like if it's cool. And then uh, I'll put a little arrow. You can see like what we ski down, which one we ski down. It's basically right down the front of the top top. It's called Ozone. I'll, I'll put a picture up on screen of me hugging the sign saving the environment, protecting the ozone layer. I'm sorry, a lot of the footage is really shaky too because my GoPro kind of sucks, but we just gotta end it with this beautiful jump. I went many, many, many miles in the air if you're wondering how high up that was. It was very, very high. That's pretty much it. Uh, the bottom of the run is just kind of like these like skiing around trees, trying to avoid rocks. A lot of times when you stop, it's because you're trying not to hit a rock but it just looks like you're a, you're just a wimpy skier, but you're trying to avoid rocks. Kids, learn your lessons. Don't uh, don't don't ski on rocks. And then we make it down to this like this chairlift that pretty much only you can get to if you skied like double blacks and stuff. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a like a secret chairlift type thing. Uh, I did another crappy jump, um, and yeah, that was that was it. Um, but I don't know. It was kind of a cool experience. Uh, that's, I mean, that's most of it. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope it was kind of cool. I don't know. If you're not a skier, maybe it was cool. I thought it was kind of cool. It's just kind of a cool thing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put in one last clip of my brother doing the same shot that I did at the beginning. Um, I'm actually holding the camera right this time, so it doesn't look like I'm skiing down like a 90 degree angle. He was like holding the camera sideways. I guess to make it look cooler, but I'll, I'll put up this little clip of him shredding the gnar. Um, and yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy. If you guys like this, please uh, subscribe, leave a like. As you can tell, I'm back in Minnesota. I just got back tonight. Uh, it's like one in the morning right now when I'm recording this. More vlogs coming soon. Uh, like I said, I'm back for a couple of days and then I'm actually out in San Francisco for like a couple of weeks. So that'll be awesome too. So like I said, stay tuned. Lots of cool stuff coming. Thank you guys so much for watching this and uh, take care.